This is an example of what police in Bogota go through every time they show up to evict somebody from their home because they haven't paid their mortgage. So it's no wonder they show up in riot gear. In this case, they're being pelted with rocks by a homeowner who doesn't want to go. Our top story this Thursday morning, the controversy that's erupted over the way the Colombian police are handling evictions in Bogota. In some cases, they show up in full riot gear with a SWAT team and a water cannon, just in case things get a little bit ugly. And more often than not, they do, because the people just don't want to go. Here's another example. The neighbors showed up at their friend's condo with sticks and gasoline, threatening to torch the place if police kicked him out. The police are just following the orders of the court. However, many people believe the police are going too far in the way these evictions are handled. Well, now the government's housing minister is involved. He's asking police not to be so heavy-handed, to respect the dignity of the people that are being evicted. He says the police are using excessive force. So the government has asked the police and judges involved in the eviction process to act in a more civilized manner and try to find other means to help these people keep their homes. Using eviction is only the last resort. He's also asked the Fiscalia to investigate whether there's a racket involved in buying up properties where people have been evicted. The trucker strike is now in its 15th day here in Colombia, and this one is impacting the country's economy. Negotiations to end the strike were held in Bogota on Wednesday. However, the transportation minister showed up six hours late, and that sure didn't help the bargaining atmosphere. Tons of agricultural products are stuck in warehouses in the Janos, waiting to be distributed all over the country. But the 15,000 truckers who would drive those loads all over Colombia are out on strike. In Cucuta, the strike has already impacted at least half of the production of poultry products. They're waiting for 900 trucks to distribute eggs and chickens around Colombia. In Huela, bags of rice and coffee are stacking up. In Cartagena, for example, the ships are waiting for 5,000 tons of coffee to be delivered for export. But the coffee is stuck in Huela with no way to get to the port. For example, tons of coffee is also stacked up in Caldas. President Uribe is heading abroad. Next Saturday, he will be in the Dominican Republic for the inauguration of the island nation's new president, Leonel Fernandez. On Sunday, Uribe will be in Atlanta to promote the free, to tr uh, the free trade agreement of the United States. And then he'll be meeting with former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, who is hoping to help fix the political problems between Colombia and Ecuador. Some of the biggest names in Colombian music have joined talents to create a brand new children's music CD, which features the fables of a famous Colombian poet. RCN Entertainment reporter Anna Catalina Torres is here with that story. Anna Catalina? Thank you, Brian. The new songs for children include rock, champeta, vallenato, joropo, and pasillo, uniquely Colombian style of music. Carlos Vives, Juan Fonseca, and other big names came together to make the new children's music CD. The songs tell the stories of famous Colombian children's author, Rafael Pombo, and his poetic tales called Fabulas. There are 14 songs on the new CD. The producer of this disc is Carlos Vives' wife, Claudia Elena Vasquez. By the way, Claudia just gave birth last month to a baby girl who has her mother's same name. For RCN News in English, I'm Ana Catalina Torres. Back All right, thanks, Ana Catalina. We'll see you on Ferrandola here on RCN. Here in Colombia, birthdays are a really big deal. Party, 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 party for days. Well, we're going to leave you today with a very special birthday, the 113th birthday of a lady from Santander. Her name, Transito Ayala. She was born back in 1895. Her family held a party for her in Bogota yesterday where they served up cake and they had another guy playing the guacharaca. Her family says she's a Santanderiana. She's always taking it easy, coge la suave, in a great mood that she's never stressed out and that's her secret. She's also a big fan of chocolates and candies and can pretty much eat anything she likes even at the ripe old age of 113. That's RCN News in English. We're bringing Colombia to the world.